Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, it's the world away. We now got part 55 of Hashit Part Works Build the Terminator. <laughs> Now, before I show you what we gotta do, we uh, get a box in this one, looking just like that. And I haven't opened this yet. So we open this and we'll see what parts we've got. We have got basically one part and, uh, oh, it looks like we've got some uh, bolts, uh, sorry, nuts in here as well. Looking just like that. Now, this part here is painted chrome and it's plastic, which is a little bit weird. It doesn't feel quite sturdy. It's actually marked R. So I'm guessing this is gonna be part of the right leg here. A um, little bit different to what we had at the start of the build. Do you remember these sort of things where uh, these are metal? So, um, what are my thoughts on this? <laughs> First of all, uh, I have mentioned it before about the weight. Uh, they're gonna to have to keep the weight down because this on its own weighs about two of these other way around this on its own weighs about half of these so um i don't know i don't know what to think uh i can't see there being because this is plastic i can't see there being more metal in the legs uh if you remember when we saw the original design of this it was actually on the diorama with a a, a rod up its back keeping it upright so if the weight is towards this area in the arms hanging down then obviously it makes sense it's pushing down on that rod to keep it balanced the way I figure it is if the legs are metal as well, you're not gonna have that and it's gonna topple over the whole thing because that rod will act a bit like a pivot and make it topple over. Um, it is what it is. Oh, I don't know what to say. I know a lot of people aren't gonna be happy that the fact that that's just plastic, but uh, we gotta do with what we gotta do. I mean, it does look good. I mean, look, the painting details on that look absolutely brilliant. And uh, to be honest with you, unless you, pr unless you actually touch it, you're not really gonna notice, but uh, hmm is what it is. So let's show you what we've got to do in this issue. Not much at all. Uh, basically, we're going to be fitting the two sections that we had last time. We're going to be gluing them together. So all we're going to need in this issue is glue, putting these together, and then these nuts that we've got in the bag here are just going to be put into this section, slightly glued in, so that when we screw them from the other side, they're not going to fall out. That's all we've got to do in this issue. In the next issue, we're going to be assembling the right hip joint, looking just like that. So without further ado, Let's get cracking. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna put some glue just into this tray here. because so we are gonna be gluing a load of sections together. And then what we've gotta do is we've gotta take this section, which we had from the last issue, putting that face down that way. And then this section here is gonna go on top, just like this, this way round. You can see we've got a little notch there. That notch area there is gonna be where this section here is. So when this goes over, it's gonna look kind of like that. So it's actually secured into place just like that. Now we need to keep this secured into place. So just looking at how this actually stays on, I'm believing, just looking again, I'm actually gonna just put some glue just onto these sections here and here on this side. I think that should be enough to hold it. Um, it's not gonna have many forces against it so I am going to put some glue just there. Same on this side. And then I think I might just put a couple of dots just around the edges where that's going to be in place. So once again, we'll do exactly what we just did there. Put this down to so it slides over the whole thing. There we go. And push that into place. And that is that section completed. Then we need to bring over the right section here, looking just like this. We're gonna be putting nuts into each of these four holes here. Now the nuts are gonna to need to stay in place all by themselves. So once again, I'm just putting the tiniest bit of glue just around the middle there. So once these nuts are in, they're not gonna move when we put a screw in from the other side. You don't need to cake this in fact, you really want to make sure that you don't get any of the uh, glue in the hole there. But that's that. And then we're going to drop these in, making sure that they fit flat in there. Might be best to actually, I'm going to do that now, to get some tweezers out for this to help with that. 
just to put them in the way that they're actually going to go. Well, there we go, they've gone in absolutely perfectly. That one's four. So all of those are in. So what we can do now is when we put nuts through, and uh, when we put screws through the other side there, these nuts aren't going to go flying out. So once that's in, all we're going to do is we're going to be fitting this joint just over the top here, just like that. That's where that's going to go. Uh, but we don't actually secure this in with anything at the moment. So uh, that is going to look just like that when it's finished. So uh, I'm guessing that we'll be putting screws in from, I would have thought, that way uh, to hold all of this together. But I don't know. I haven't got a clue. Anyway, that's that. That's all we have to do in that issue. It's nice and quick. You'll have to put in your uh, in the comments exactly what you think about the uh, the plastic plate section of the fire there. Do you reckon my um, my analogy is right? Do you reckon that if it was metal, it's just going to be too heavy and fall over? Because it is quite heavy at the moment, what we've got there. Uh, and I'm, co I'm, I'm conscious of how big the base is going to be. Uh, because to offset that pivot, the base is going to have to really be quite big. And I've, I haven't got the dimensions for the square of that yet. But... Uh, it is what it is, as I keep saying that in this issue. But listen, if you did like that video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, please remember to subscribe. Other than that, take care.